Christina, thank you. 602 and out of campaign 2018 and the continuing drama as the state recounts votes in three major races. This is a live look from inside the Broward County Supervisor of Elections Office where workers have been taking a break this morning after spending all night long sorting through thousands of ballots. The recount isn't even expected to begin in Broward for a few hours. Yeah, and the process there was delayed on Sunday due to technical issues. CBS 4's Carly Barnett is live outside the Broward County Supervisor of Elections Office in Lauder Hill with the latest. Carly, good morning. Maribel, Lauren, good morning. Yes, outside of the elections office, you can see they have these barricades now up in front of it. And you saw inside not a lot going on at this point, probably, like you said, taking a break because they have been working 12 on 12 shifts to keep those machines operated 24 hours. Now, what we did hear is, that is new is they actually brought in two more machines, bringing the total number up to 12. And what they're doing first is sorting these ballots before they even begin the recount. They don't expect to even begin counting until tonight. In Broward County, workers at the Supervisor of Elections Office need the first page of all 715,000 ballots cast before the machine recount starts. That's going to take us approximately about 35 hours to sort. Sorting was scheduled to begin at 7 Sunday morning, but a problem with the machine delayed the start for more than four hours. By 11.30, these 10 machines started sorting through a stack of 3.5 million pages. When we go later on to do the tabulation for everything, we will only be tabulating page one. That page includes three statewide races. The six candidates all have representatives watching inside of that room, and there is a rep for the Democrats and one for the Republicans. Since four local races in Broward also fell below the half-point margin, they too will get a machine recount at the same time. Show some respect! Outside of the Broward Supervisor of Elections Office in Lauder Hill. Both sides remain at odds over how election supervisor Dr. Brenda Snipes has been handling the election. The attorney for the Florida Democrats says the process is working. There are procedures to administer this. We're going to count the votes and we're going to see who won. Governor Scott and President Trump have claimed election fraud in Broward without offering any evidence. On Sunday, Florida Attorney General Pam Bondi sent a letter to FDLE calling for the commissioner, who was appointed by Governor Rick Scott, to investigate the governor's claims of election wrongdoing in Broward and in Palm Beach. Bondi also sent a letter to the Division of Elections to report any suspicion of criminal activity. Both agencies told CBS4 there was no evidence of criminal activity. Another live look for you right now of what is going on inside. If you watched about an hour ago, you saw those machines sorting. A bit of a lull here right now, but again, they brought their machines from 10 up to 12, so hopefully that should escalate the process. Keep in mind, once the recount itself starts, it should be about a 12-hour long process, and all of these results are due by 3 p.m. on Thursday. Certainly a lot of work ahead. For now, live in Lauder Hill, Carly Barnett, CBS4 This Morning.